Hello everyone, and welcome to a new playthrough of Invisible Ink. Uh, I said I might be back uh, after my last run for another, but uh, it's a bit sooner than I thought it would be. It's just been not that many hours, really, and uh, and I'm back. Couldn't stay away. Uh, so we're planning a new Expert Plus run. Uh, I did... I watched like one of Andrew Kay's uh, Expert Plus Plus playthroughs, uh, where he basically takes Expert Plus and then goes through the difficulty settings and turns them all up by one. Uh, and that looked really hard. Um, I feel like Expert Plus is still at a difficulty level where I definitely can lose. Um, and uh, the problem is, I don't know, a lot of that difficulty comes at the beginning of the game. And then after the first couple of missions, it's in a sort of more or less unlosable state um, where you have to be pretty careless to lose. So it'd be nice if the difficulty were more spread out, but okay, it's not. Um, and I don't want... I, I, I mean, props to Andrew K for playing X with Plus Plus. It's a lot of fun if you, if you want to watch someone suffer. Um, but uh, I don't think I'm going to just yet. Maybe I'll start streaking or something. And, you know, that could be a fun thing as well, I'm sure. But uh, we're just going to play a normal Expert Plus playthrough. Uh, randomize the setup, and again, if I don't like it, just randomize again. Shalem and Rush with Dynamo and Lockpick 1.0. So I actually, just before this, started another run that was going to be my Game 5, uh, but I had some technical difficulties with the recording in the first mission, so I just threw it away. Uh, where I played with Dynamo and Mercenary? Let me show you Mercenary. And it was just like, it was awful. Uh, I couldn't do anything. I don't like Dynamo because I want to get in and out quickly. And I don't like Mercenary, uh, like for similar reasons. You know what, like why, why am I playing on random if I don't like anything? I don't know, I'm just using it for inspiration, not because I really want to feel like it's random. Uh, like I'm playing random whatever. Huh. Archive Decker and Archive International, huh? I don't know. Let's just like not do this whole random thing. Um, Prism Banks. That's a pretty strong. Although you got it backwards. It should be on file Banks and Archive Prism. Um, Prism Banks is a very strong team. Uh, if you swap these two around. And like, um, I don't know, maybe we'll go with something like that. I know it's a super strong team. I've kind of wanted to play around the seed a bit, uh, but I feel like it's a bit of an anti-synergy with Prism because of her, uh, she actually needs power, not like programs. Um, you know, Prism, Banks, Faust, and Brimstone, like that's a thing you can do. Um, it's not bad even. I think Prism and Central is even better with that combo because you get all the power uh, from the Brimstone, from the Faust Demons, I should say. Um, but just something like, I don't know. Yeah, these are all like not that great. <laughs> None of these programs are any good. Uh, Fusion's kind of okay. Uh, on, on Expert, Fusion is much better because you start with 10 power. Uh, when you start with just five, spending all of it to turn on the fusion is actually kind of a problem. Uh, it means you can't like activate Prism's Disguise on turn one, for example, uh, or use any programs other than, say, Parasite, which I, I do enjoy Parasite quite a lot. Um, so I think I'm maybe just going to go with like um, something simple like Power Drip Parasite. Yeah, that should be fine. This should be a very, very strong setup. Um, much stronger, I think, than the last one, but I'm just like not really in the mood to play these ridiculous, awful teams like I, like I did in the, the last episode. Uh, and we're not going to listen to the story stuff. If you want to hear that, you know, go watch Game 4, um, my last story mode mission, uh, playthrough. But uh, these, these agents are real good. Uh, I don't know if Parasite is actually good, but I like it. Bad news, operator. The 
And uh, starting with oh shut up central. Starting with uh, with anarchy is real nice as well um, because it makes it much easier to collect all of the money out of the first mission, uh, which is a big big help in ramping up quickly. Uh, if you don't have anarchy on your agents, then uh, you are sort of in trouble. You have to either knock out guards, raising the alarm level, or forego the money, uh, making the future missions harder. But uh, with anarchy, you can ramp everything up quite quickly. Huh. That's an interesting setup. Okay. Do I want to stand here? I guess? I mean, there's some chance that a guard comes through this door and walks this way, and if that happens, I'm going to be a little sad. But uh, hopefully it doesn't. And if it does, like, I can work with it. I can I can open the door with, uh, with Prism and get out of the way and let Banks come in, and we won't get shot this turn. Hopefully we won't even get noticed, but, you know, stranger things have happened. Honestly, if I'm playing with such strong characters, I maybe should have just turned off rewinds. I don't anticipate using any. Um, in the last playthrough, the only one I had to use was when like, I thought I was ambushing and I wasn't, and, uh, and I just rewound and did the same turn over again, but with the, the inputs I intended to give. Uh, but I, like, I, I think it's fine-ish to have rewinds available uh, and just like try not to use them. Like if you do, hey, I mean that's that's fine. That's the, that's this game's hit point system. Um, and uh, you don't have to work with zero to be a cool a cool kid. Uh, let's get prism. So what do we have on offer here? Lightning and bless. Bless is okay if you're working with like Faust. Um, but otherwise it's just like not really worth the trouble or some other demon generating mechanic. Um, it actually is pretty good with those, um, but here I will pass. And lightning is great for solving problems that I try not to have in the first place. See, he's not even observing this door. Uh, yeah, and we can come down here and peek without being seen by him as well. Doesn't seem to be much back here, and that's, that's a bit exciting. Um, we should be able to hide right here. The only guy, nothing comes through this door. So, yeah. And put another parasite on. You know what? Let's play it safe. We have plenty of power since we can't really use it on anything. Let's just be uh, disguised, just in case uh, we misunderstand what's going on with this door. Costs us a little power, but that's fine. All right. We found the security doors. And some power, if we should need it. Three power? Is that worth four movement points? Not really. Could be okay, I guess. I have power drip? Yeah, power drip is what I have. This guy, I guess, is stationary? Alright, there's a camera up there. So we'll just put that on. Uh, sh not gonna need the disguise this turn. Um, yeah, and we want to get both agents up here as quickly as possible, so that means not grabbing this power and just getting getting a move on. Cool. Yeah, stationary. Okay. Um, so there certainly are ways to get through here without using prism. Uh, One thing is, like, we could just have Prism open the door, walk through here, and like go into this area, and that would be fine. While she's disguised, he wouldn't even uh, he wouldn't even bat an eye. 
Um, but when Banks comes into the room, she's going to trigger him to walk here anyway. Um, so what we could do is have both agents come in through this way and like hang out back here. Uh, and then next turn have Prism go this way. Uh... <sighs> That's basically spending some agent action points in exchange for saving power. And power is not really our limiting factor, especially in these early missions. Uh, it's really agent action points that we need to optimize for. So I'm going to have Prism come this way, while Banks goes this way. Uh, and importantly, there's a door here, so this is forward progress for Banks, even. Um, but we want Prism to be able to get through here instead of having to hide here and then go through here. It costs us, like, at least a turn. Uh, maybe, maybe, like, a turn and a half uh, to go the slow route. So uh, we'll go the fast route. As I, as I said, plenty of power. Um, could there be anything here? I don't think so. What sees all this? Uh, oh, it's this guard down here. It's a console database, and I have a buster chip. Well, maybe. Maybe we'll use it. Um, if we don't have anything better to hack, then sure. We'll, uh, we'll use our parasite on that instead of... But uh, if we do have something useful to hack, you see that? Uh, then we'll, um, we'll use a buster chip on this thing. Uh, and it looks like... Looks like... Um, is it from here? Yeah, he won't see us, so we'll, we'll come this way. Looks like we have nothing better to do with our power, and there's no big hurry to get the console database. Uh, so we could Parasite this, but it's going to take two turns. So actually, uh, maybe it's not such a great idea to put a Parasite on it, since it would mean that our, it'll cost us one more power to hack whatever we want to hack next turn. I don't know, I guess that's fine. Um, it's basically spending up power for a firewall, which is like a great deal, right? I feel like Parasite is like very, very good for power optimization, um, and doesn't really cost you that much in tempo, at least for the first several missions. Uh, I usually am not in a huge hurry. As long as you have some other tool for breaking things you need in a hurry, using Parasite for most things is a style I like. Investigating the area. <laughs> Nothing. All right, and now Banks can uh, use her superpower to just get through this door. Uh, I suppose I should peek first. Fine. Nothing here. Nothing in the corner. No, no sneaky cameras. Uh, we don't know that this room is safe, so I'm gonna hide out here and uh, be ambushing. We didn't see anything happening up in this area, so it's looking reasonably good. Uh, I will open without peeking. There shouldn't be any issues with this. Uh, if any guard came in here, there was plenty of space for us to hide. And I uh, will get this safe next turn. Uh, spend one power on it, or use a buster chip. Clearly spend the one power. Okay, looking good. A bunch of cameras are about to come on. Uh, but they're mostly up in Prism's area. Oh, it was a, a camera database, not a console database. I read it wrong. Well, this is much more useful. Uh, console databases are useful to give you like a general idea of the outline of the facility. Um, but uh, I usually don't care too much about the consoles themselves. Uh, whereas cameras... An individual camera, knowing about it, can be quite useful. This isn't lit up yet, so it won't show me its vision radius. That's a bit of a nuisance. Uh, but I'm reasonably sure it doesn't reach this far. Yep, 
Yeah, even standing. Oh, she can see the camera. Hmm. Yeah, now she can't see it though. So we're good here. There's a door there's a wall in the way, even if the camera could see far enough. Uh, we've discovered that this area is relatively safe. I think this might be the exit, maybe? I mean, just like, I don't know, there tend to be cameras maybe near the exit. Okay, here is the executive terminal. Uh, and this guy looks stationary, but I guess we'll check. Yes, stationary. Uh, so let's leave that for later and see what's going on in the southern area here. Mm. For which I really would like these cameras. So spending one power to get both of them instead of just one is clearly worth. Okay, some safes. Uh, let's see what Prism has up here. This guy's... Oh, this meets back up with uh, with Banks' side. That's great news. Uh, so we'll just sneak our way through the door. Um, confirm that this guy is stationary. He is. So we'll just say, hey, what's up, buddy? How do you like being a guard? I love it. It's great. Yeah, my first day, actually. <laughs> Explains why you've never seen me before. Uh, I do enjoy the silly faux role playing you get to do with prison. Uh, this is a lot of safes. Holy cow! All right, and uh, that is the end of this area. It's just four safes and the shop. Uh, she doesn't carry a Buster Chip, so it's sort of like how fast do we want to get through this stuff? Um, Maybe take these two, and then these two, and then this. Um, how much power would it be to hack all four of these safes this turn if we were so inclined? Actually, that would be a bad play, right? We would want to get these three, and then on the next turn get this one. So that's zero, one, two, two. Five power to get all this stuff in two turns. Um, Easy. We can afford that. Um, I suppose, in fact, it would have been slightly more optimal to rather than this safe to pick up this one uh, so that I can wait like here uh, in between turns rather than here. Save me a move and a half, basically. Uh, oh well, it's not like we need to super uh, min-max our looting of these safes, I think. Uh, we should be able to turn off our disguise this turn, save some power. How many guards have we found? One, two, three. There's another one somewhere. Uh, I might need the power, the the disguise anyway next turn to come in here. So you could argue for leaving it on. Um, but that that only makes a difference if someone actually spots us in here this turn, and we know that's not the case because this guy's stationary. No one's moving through him, so it's fine to turn this off and then maybe turn it back on next turn. So this, we could save two power this way, and it can't really hurt us. Oh, when I said it was... Yeah, five. Five power. Zero, one, two, two. That's right. And then a bit more to get the shop, of course. Wow. A lot of empty space. But okay, there's the exit. Uh, so we need to get this guy's attention. Uh, so that we can make it into Banks' half of the air, uh, the facility. We'll just wait here, pick up all the safes next turn. 
Looks good. Investigating area. Must be imagining things. So he's gonna come back to the door, which is not very nice for me. Um, but uh, we can knock him out on the on a on a, in on our egress, I suppose is the word. Uh, and he shouldn't pose a problem before then. Uh, Prism can easily get through here with her disguise, so that's lovely. Um, and we can even rob from this guy as well. If I sprint, is this guy gonna hear? I don't think so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Eight. I don't think so, but if he did, like, that would be great. Come on in, man. Leave Prism alone. No. Okay. I guess sprinting hasn't really helped because we still have to uh, wait by this thing. It saved us a tiny, tiny amount of, uh, of time on our next turn. Um, I guess we might as well peek here. Yeah, nobody's standing there, that's fine. So am I missing something? Should there be one more guard? I feel like there should be one more guard somewhere. Maybe he's in here, or maybe I'm wrong about the number of guards in the facility. Who knows? Uh, but looking good for Prism to get in here. Yep, still stationary. Very good. Um, now, in principle, we don't necessarily even need for Prism to... Use her disguise? Is there a way we could get this guy, uh... Maybe we could step in some of these squares t to distract him and then find a safe place to hide while he investigates. But I don't think there's a guaranteed safe place to do that. Um, since the only kind of safe looking places are like these little nooks in the corner here. We could like, I don't know, push him here, and then get to up here maybe to hide, and then try to duck in behind him, but it's just way, way simpler to uh, to go in this way. Um, and I'm going to actually, I think, steal from him this turn. Yeah, before he gets, um, gets his patrol path changed. Uh, by us picking up the the thing. Anatomy analysis? Stim 1? Those are all interesting options. I don't know. Anatomy analysis is... It's, like, pretty cool if you're shooting guys, but I try not to. Um... And we don't have any guns anyway, right? Yeah. Uh, Stim 1 can address a lot of problems, honestly. Um, we'll have to buy some speed upgrades, but we're doing that anyway. Uh, are there any safes left on the level? I think there's one. Yeah. No, 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 we found them all. There's four safes here and the one safe the prism got. So this is basically all the money we're going to have uh, at the end of the level. Um, the speed upgrades, I think the first one costs 500. So if we spent 400, we'd have 1180. That's pretty good. But the, the first speed upgrade might actually be 600. I don't remember. It doesn't tell me here in, in the character screen, does it? No. Uh, it's pretty important to me to get every agent speed upgraded a little bit. Uh, and just in case it is 600, I think I'm going to just pass on this. Like, the stim is fine. It would be useful, but it's not, it's not crucial. Uh, yes, we determined that no guards enter this room. Uh, 
and Prism will just come up here. Uh, and we'll drop our Parasite on there and soon be on our way. Ha ha ha, yes, of course. Didn't actually get in there this turn, did we? Um, it's a bit of a shame this guy's staring right at this spot. It means there's nowhere up there we can hide. Um, maybe we could get his attention with some sprinting so he leaves this area alone. That sounds pretty good, actually. Um, or maybe we could just knock him out. Like, why am I... We've got plenty of time on the alarm. We have a clear path to the exit. Why did you hear that? Um, I don't need to be quite so cautious. We can just take care of him. Uh, put Prism back here for next turn. Oh! She has a buster chip. Um, are we okay with the guards adjusting their patrols right now? It's really only this guy who's an issue, right? How far could he go? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he could sort of get into this room. So, well, but he couldn't actually see anything interesting. Uh, all the same, I think I'd rather have a fresh fresh turn when that happens. Uh, so that I can do some proper recon on this guy. So we'll just knock this guy out and, um, and do this stuff later. I suppose since parasites are free right now, we could parasite one of these cameras, but uh, I don't see any real advantage. Uh, actually, this one could help me scout out guard paths, I guess. Uh, confirm that we are ambushing. Yes, we are. And we may as well uh, paralyze him. Down for five turns, that's quite convenient. Grab this. You've got it. Great. When you activated that terminal, it sent out an automated message to change up the guard duty. Be prepared for a new patrol pattern. Now we could sprint to like here, but does that actually get this guy's attention? One, two, three, four, five, here? I think it doesn't. But here is fine as well. Um, I just want to be able to see if he's coming anywhere interesting. Um, oh, actually, hang on. Sprinting from here, he would actually hear us moving on this half of the sprint, not this half. Um, Hmm. Well, maybe that's not such a great plan. What if what if he did hear us? Where would he go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? He just goes here. That's fine. That guarantees he won't go anywhere interesting. Uh, we'll just have him investigate, like, one of the squares up here, and then we'll be down here, and he'll never know. Did you hear that? Yeah, great. I accept. Uh, yeah, and we can't get anywhere better than where we are, so I'll just leave this guy here. Oh, I should have been, I should have uh, observed the guard down in the south area, since we do have, did anyway, have him on camera. How far can we get sprinting? We can get out of the room with both agents. 
uh, and he would only hear us in like this far, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he would hear us like here maybe. Um, and there's no guards coming up through here. But there might be someone up that way. I don't really want to mess with that. So let's not sprint. And um, just head up here. Uh, if a guard does happen to open this door, we can we can duck over here and then ambush him next turn. Uh, might as well. No, I don't want that camera. M want to keep the parasite fresh for whatever we might want next turn. Uh, and in fact, we'll do a little bit more with prism getter to here. Uh, it's only an issue if the guard comes through this door that we'd be able to get out of sight, uh, which we can do just by shutting this door with banks. So get as far forward as possible. Looking around. Hmm. Nothing. Investigating area. Okay. So they found the guard we knocked out. That's too bad, but um, not in the grand scheme of things much of a big deal since we are. Done. Hold on. Did you hear something? Uh, sure. Grab some power, I guess. Did you hear that? Uh, which we can use to fuel uh, Prism's disguise. The new guard came in down there, oh, luckily not up here, uh, so he's completely irrelevant. Yep, and uh, we can just make our way to the exit at our leisure. Nothing behind the corner to worry about, so let's go. Nice clean mission. Got all the money. KO'd one guard uh, who was making things a little bit awkward. Just sped things up a bit. Uh, could have done without KOing him as well, but there's there's no points for stealth. There's points for getting the money and getting out. So a nice clean first mission. Uh, may they all go so well. That's what I have to say. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.